Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius February 10, 2023. It's easier to access your deeper feelings and needs, and some brave self-honesty can be exactly what you need to get past an obstacle. Knowing yourself is the advantage right now. While this inward turn is good for you and quite healing, the moon's transit of your solar house encourages you to pull yourself up and out to explore and discover. While your need for a little more from your experiences than usual can promote some restlessness, it's temporary. You can enjoy truly interesting ideas and topics today. You're at greater ease expressing both your ideas and feelings now. We are in one of the most important periods of the entire year when it comes to matters of the heart. This is because each zodiac sign rules different energetic frequencies and themes. And right now, the energy of Leo is especially potent in the cosmos. The entire human collective is being infused with Leo's strength. This zodiac sign oversees romance, dating, courtship, passion, fertility, and expression for the entire zodiac wheel. Use this wavelength to build your personal and romantic life as you see fit. A full moon's energy lasts for days before and after, so it's ripe for the taking. Be sweet to your co-workers. Conversations will take several twists and turns as Venus in Pisces sextals Uranus in Taurus today. You may feel notably close and compassionate when talking to your co-workers about your passion projects. Since you could have unconventional ideas or an atypical style of professional self-expression, you may find that your co-workers are relatively accepting of your perspective. A colleague could even encourage you to take an idea or creative endeavor in an entirely new direction. Keep your mind open and maintain a positive disposition in conversation. Just days after clashing as a full moon, the moon's return to your career sector today puts it back in harmony with the sun in your income sector. Just two days after leaving your financial sector, something that energized both sides of the financial fence but may have also created some financial tension, this is a chance to not only turn this into motivation but put things in perspective. Yes, the moon clashed with the sun and Saturn in your income sector, but chances are you are more resolved than ever. Today's transit will make you feel about 10 years younger this month, and that's without even trying. You can feel at your best if you apply this transit to your workouts and involve it in your weightlifting or cardio work that you once found challenging. The aspect will give you the power of 10 cups of coffee without any of the negative side effects. Oh try to stay away from caffeine and increase your water intake, too. On a day like today many will appreciate your innovative approach to projects. Due to your avant-garde outlook on life and business, your business associates may look to you to set the pace. They are aware of how your creative nature can advance the way that things get done in the workplace. In any work group environment most people will view you as the natural choice for leader. Let your skills at delivering information and ability to be a strong team player shine. After a slow start in the professional god's eyes but the perfect start when it comes to finding a balance between work and play, the working week reaches its stride as the moon returns to your career sector today. Returning just days after the Dwarf Planet series retrograde turn here over the weekend, as well as a friendly aspect to Mars in your work sector this will put the sun and moon back in harmony. It was just two days ago that the moon wrapped up a full moon that put pressure on the sun in your income sector, with a chance to turn any financial tension this may have created into motivation. After a friendly aspect to both the North Node and Uranus in your romantic sector yesterday, the moon might leave an adventurous part of your chart today but not before bringing the spirit of romance and adventure together. With Ceres just five weeks away from retrograding back into an adventurous part of your chart, what the moon helped to fuel over the last few days is a preview of what is to come. Daily Planetary Overview Mercury in Capricorn shares a minor aspect with Saturn in Aquarius today. This energy gives us a chance to understand our innermost thoughts on a deep level. The caution with this transit is that you might feel as though others aren't giving you enough attention or listening to your words. You could feel as though you're not being seen clearly. 
It's important that everyone gives others the benefit of the doubt. Additionally, this transit also emphasizes the importance of self-expression and being true to ourselves. It may be tempting to suppress our thoughts or conform to the expectations of others, but this could lead to a feeling of being stifled or unfulfilled. Instead, it's important to find healthy ways to express ourselves and communicate what we truly feel and believe. At the same time, we must also be mindful of how our words and actions might impact others and strive to maintain harmony in our relationships. This positive energy you radiate attracts more positivity and success in your life. Your confidence and can-do attitude inspire those around you and create a ripple effect of positivity. People naturally flock to you because they sense your kindness and genuine desire to help. Your selflessness and willingness to take on others' problems truly make a difference in their lives and bring a sense of happiness and fulfillment to you as well. This energy can also lead to increased opportunities for personal and professional growth. By putting yourself out there and taking on new challenges, you demonstrate your competence and dedication, which can lead to recognition and advancement in your career. Your self-assurance and can-do attitude also attract new friendships and romantic relationships, allowing you to deepen your connections with those who matter most to you. In conclusion, your happiness and self-confidence are contagious, and the positive impact you have on those around you is immeasurable. Embrace this energy and continue to make the world a better place with your kind heart and can-do attitude. Overall, this transit presents both challenges and opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By being mindful of our thoughts and actions, and by approaching communication with patience and empathy, we can navigate this energy with grace and emerge stronger and more connected to both ourselves and those around us. After midnight, Juno aligns with Chiron in Aries, complicating commitments. We are drawn to partnerships that trigger reminders of unresolved wounds. On the one hand, this will make the relationship complicated to navigate, and we don't want to re-traumatize ourselves. On the other hand, we believe it is our duty to preserve the contract. Stay aware that under this weather, it is not our responsibility to stick to one-sided engagements. We are entitled to fairness and equity in our agreements, and there is no reason to punish ourselves by settling for less. Yet, there may be important lessons to glean from the challenges we face now. We can even heal ourselves, and help another to access their own healing, by harnessing Aryan principles like bravery to demand our due. If everyone involved in the contract steps up to the plate, this influence can aid all involved in overcoming past pain. After noon, the moon opposes Neptune in Pisces, zapping our energy. Under the Virgo moon, we achieve emotional equilibrium through organization and structure, yet Neptune's influence provokes distractions that knock us off course. We hit snags in our routines, which cause us to become drained and disillusioned, and then feel guilty about our inability to recover. When we're down, we are vulnerable to those who would exploit the chink in our armor. Instead of stressing out, schedule time to do nothing. Relax. Take a long lunch. Watch an hour of crappy TV. Then, attempt to regain your momentum. 